what's up gorgeous i forgot i had to film the intro and outro today so you just get what i look like during quarantine while i'm editing um so this video is just me making the prosthetic that i use in my honeycomb makeup look that you might have seen on tiktok that one's um I can't remember how many views it's gotten right now, but I think it's the most on my page right now. And I've got a pretty small page, so thank you for that. But I'm just making it. It's a gelatin prosthetic. Yeah, so we can start that video. Now we go into voiceover mode. I've got a piece of bubble wrap here, and in some hot water, I've got my Scarfex gel. It's liquidy now, so it's time to start. Um, when working with products that have to be hot, always be careful, of course. So I just dispense them out and I'm using a palette knife to spread it out. And I'm like really getting into the crevices around the bubbles. This video is sped up a little bit so I really took my time to get it in there. And I make it a general um, hexagon, sh hexagon shape but that's not really important and I don't like try to make it like that and then I make two more smaller ones again I'm not really concerned with the shape I'm just vibing putting some gel on some plastic okay so I'm using the Ben Nye Scarfex gel and you could always like make your own gelatin I'm just using this because it's what I have. If you want to see a video where I make gelatin, then let me know. So it's starting to get a little bit tacky, so I know that it's setting. And I did about three layers. And these chilled in the fridge for a little bit. That's not necessary. It just sped up the process a little bit. And very, very slowly, I peel these off. Again, this video is sped up. This part sped up more than the last. And I just slowly peel them off and it's a little jelly honeycomb type of course the holes in it are round and not hexagon but that's okay it gives to the same effect Okay, this one I was worried about it not being quite set all the way, and then the way that these edges came up, it was, um, I was pretty confident that it was done. And again, I really took my time, especially around these edges, to peel these up. I get a little bit out of the shot, but, um, sorry. They came off pretty easily. I didn't use any type of releasing agents or Vaseline or anything. That's about how thick they are. And now it's time to color them. I chose to color them before I put them on because, especially with this larger one, it'll make it easier to do once it's on because my vision will be impaired because the large one's going over my eye. I'm using the Profusion Mattes palette and the brushes I'm using are the e.l.f. eye crease brush, a small round tip brush, and an even smaller round tip brush. And the reason I'm using shadows is because since I'm using gelatins, it shouldn't affect the consistency too much when I try to reuse it and melt it and then it resets. But like cream makeups can kind of mess with the consistency. So first I'm starting with the yellow in the palette. And I'm just choosing holes at random. And filling them in completely. That shade is called Serendipity. And this orange shade is called Dynasty. And again, I'm just choosing at random. This shade is called Madly. This is Fuse. Now I just kind of mix all of those shades together a little bit. And then I take the browns and darker shades and add a little bit of shadow into some of them. 
just on one side, just like if you were drawing something, you would only darken one part. Anyways, now I'm taking the small round tip brush in my Mayron Aqua Paints to make sure that the, um, I want to use rim, but I feel like that's not the right word, but the deep part of the hole, the sides, I'm using yellow, orange, and now brown. And that's how they look when they're done. As you can see, there are some bees that have joined us. I made these out of just hot glue and then I painted them. They don't look the most realistic, but they help bring it all together. And I think I only ended up using like three of these little guys. Um, but they were fun, so move them out of the way. And I want to add some drippy effects, and I really should have just used the gelatin for this, and I knew that I could have, but I wanted to kind of save some of that for the end. I didn't think that I had enough, but I did. So what I'm about to do is use the hot glue gun to do this, and um, it does work, but not how I want it to. So first, I just want to like hold it up and let it drip, and it drips really, really good because it immediately melted the gelatin which I thought it would I just thought it would take a little bit longer but it all falls and makes a big mess and it's all gooey and clumpy so I just kind of scrape that off with a plastic knife and play with the little web stringy thingies a bit and then I was like eh, I'm still gonna try to use a hot glue gun for some reason but if I lay it down on this paint palette and then drip it and that really does work it looks nice however I end up cutting those off when I'm putting it on because they are too hard and they stick out. They don't lay flat, so I just cut them off. I hope you enjoyed watching. Sorry if the intro and outro is a little bit shaky. I didn't feel like hanging up the backdrop, so you just get me in front of the canvas as one of them fell. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll post the actual makeup video in a couple days. I'll put on Instagram the exact day that I plan on uploading it. So like and subscribe, check out the other videos if you want to. It's quarantine, what else are you doing? Um, I'm sure there's time in your day, but there's a TikTok and an Instagram to check out if you wanna. Have a gorgeous day and stay safe.